Well, when the, the calves are born on, on the farm here, they're born in uh, calving pens up in the dairy barn. And immediately after they're born, we, we uh, take the calves and we disinfect their navels to prevent any bacterial infection. We'll vaccinate or give the calves some selenium because we're selenium deficient on the soil here in Prince Edward Island. So it avoids some diseases like white muscle and things like that. And then we'll also give the calves uh, an oral vaccine to help vaccinate them against rotocoronavirus, which can cause scours and, and things like that. And then we'll feed them their, uh, their colostrum, again, for immunity response as soon as we can right away. We want to keep the calves separate to get them into a hutch and get them started to give their immunity a real chance to get a boost before they get exposed to too many things that they would be if they were kept with the older, older animals. It's really a lot of close attention and just watching their health closely. Our feeding program with them is we feed them three times a day. We change their water, like they have fresh water all the time. We change their feed every day, like they really, they really get that attention. From the nutritional standpoint, we feed a powdered milk, which is basically a, an infant formula to our calves that we use. We actually use a gram scale and weigh the actual amount of milk and measure the amount of water that goes into the mix so it's not haphazard that they get the right amount all the time. Consistent. And We've discovered that that's very, very important. And then we feed them a manufactured calf starter that's balanced for energy and protein for proper growth for the calves. They stay on that for about four months and then when they graduate up to this barn, then it's a, it's a protein supplement with haylage. In the winter when they need more energy, we feed them corn along with it to give them more energy for better growth. The summertime, if we feed them that, they'll get too fat. So we kind of have to balance that. We have to change accordingly. And we work closely with our nutritionists for all our animals to make sure that, you know, if anything changes in a diet or if there's new information out there that we're aware of it and we practice it. We know all the individuals, they all have a name, and we actually know all their families, the whole genealogy behind them, and that's really important. Like, there's 187 cows on the farm, and we know all of them.